Let me create a function to do the Euler integration. So I'll go to the end of the code and the I'll create a function called Euler that's going to take in a bunch of stuff which I'm going to specify in just a little bit and it's going to give me a bunch of stuff. Okay? So it takes in stuff and it gives out stuff and we'll specify those and we want the Euler integration to happen within the um, function so let me copy uh, move those statements into the function and while doing that let me maximize the editor okay so pre-allocate arrays uh, initial conditions and time integration all this applies to the Euler method so let me take that out and put it within the function. Now for this to work, um, MATLAB needs to know within the function what n is. So I'll add n to the list of parameters. It needs to know what m and k are so let me add that to the list of parameters m k and it also needs to know h okay and here we are specifying the initial conditions within the function it's better to also pass that but in this uh, this first try you know let's leave that um, initial condition specification within the function. And we want the function to take these uh, values and using the initial conditions calculate the t and x arrays. So that's going to be our output from the function. So t and x. Okay, so that defines our function that'll take a function called Euler that'll take in these parameters and give us the t and x arrays. And let's call this function from within the main program. So I'll copy that in and I will say Euler integration as a comment and then copy what I just highlighted there, paste what I highlighted there, and by the way these names can be different from the function so I could call this you know t Euler and x Euler and that should still work but the variables do correspond they don't have to say the have the same names and here I see and I should have a semicolon there and here I see a red flag. It says function keyword use is invalid here. It says, hey, you know, if this, you can't use the function keyword here. And um, that's because if you want to have embedded functions within a file, your main program also has to be a function. So I'll say function spring underscore mass and that's not going to take in anything or pass out anything and these names have to correspond so if the function name the main function name and the file name don't correspond MATLAB will give you a warning so now everything looks green and let me actually while you know so we'll we'll use the debugger to see what's happening within the function and while doing that, let me go back to 10 time steps to make things manageable. Okay, and so I can, let me dock this and let me set a breakpoint here and I will run and step through the function to see what's happening.